Oh, that was a long day. Oh, it was a good time in Vegas. It's going to suck it into the airport. All right, well, got the keys. Got my phone. Now I just need my... Whoa. What? It's the ace of Vegas. The ace of Vegas. Hey, my spinners and sharks, Ace of Vegas here, and I hope you're doing well. Now, today's video is actually partially inspired by our friends over at Hagen Two Cent over at their channel. Be sure to support them in the description box below. But anyway, the big thing that happened on a recent trip was that Two Cent lost her purse. Unfortunately, she and Hog didn't recover it. The good news is that there were no credit cards and that they didn't have a lot of cash in that purse. The bad news is, Two Cent's driver's license was lost, and they typically fly to Vegas. So that begs the question, what do you do if you lose your photo ID in Vegas? Well today, we'll explain that. Now, the best resource that we've been able to find for such an event is, of course, the Transport Security Administration. So according to TSA, adult passengers 18 and over must show valid ID at the airport security checkpoint in order to travel. That includes, but is not limited to, state-issued driver's licenses, state IDs, U.S. passports, and U.S. permanent resident cards. They also mention that a temporary driver's license and weapon permits are not acceptable forms of ID. So, if you're flying to Vegas for your 21st birthday, you may want to schedule your DMV trip early enough to get the right ID. Now, should you lose your ID in Vegas, there are a few things to do. If it's lost or stolen, alert hotel security immediately. Sometimes they can help you locate a lost wallet or purse, and perhaps someone who came to Vegas with their conscience intact may have actually turned it into lost and found. This, however, isn't always the case. And as a result, be sure to contact Las Vegas Metro Police Department to file a police report. Again, this isn't foolproof, but if you're lucky, you may recover some of your belongings. After that, here's where things get a little messy. You'll need to do additional security screening at the airport. The first step to that is to be sure that you arrive early. TSA says two hours early, but Hog and Two Cent arrive three hours early. You want to do this to ensure that you can get through a full screening, assuming that TSA allows you to fly. The next step is to finish the screening. They'll ask for your name, current address, date of birth, and a few other personal pieces of information to verify your identity. If everything matches up, they'll probably let you through. The last bit, if you're able to verify your identity, is to submit to additional screening. This will include a pat-down and an inspection of all carry-on property, purses, bags, etc. If these steps are all completed successfully, you can take your trip home. Now a few final notes to keep in mind. These steps are for domestic travelers. So if you live in the US, then these steps are for you. If you're visiting internationally, the process will be significantly different. Also keep in mind that this is the best case scenario that we've worked out here. You may not have such a smooth experience. So it's best to keep your wits about you and try not to carry too many unnecessary things on your person to minimize the probability of being pickpocketed or even dropping something important. Now that just about wraps up today's video. If you found today's content informative, I'd appreciate a like and feel free to subscribe if you haven't already. Next time, we'll be living it up at Vidara Las Vegas hopefully with our IDs intact. Until then, this is Ace of Vegas, signing out, wishing you all strong hands, and of course, happy spinning, you guys.